Hey guys, yeah, I went to the Bear Hills Copper Mine, which is site number 30 in uh, Robert Beard's book, Rock Hounding in Delaware, Maryland, and the Washington, D.C. metro area. Okay, so a guide to the best rock hounding sites, which I, I don't, I didn't think, I don't think he got the best rock hounding sites, but anyway, he, um, it's interesting. Um, he got he got a bunch of good interesting it's interesting though so um so site number 30 okay it doesn't look like this anymore um it it's the embankments have been uh, eroded and um there isn't this much rock exposed uh usually and when I went today, it was all covered still in the leaves of the fall. So this is not a good time. It just wasn't a great time to go, just uh, if you want to see rock. And also, he didn't go into the creek itself much. He he was looking up on the hills, because, but he pointed out the creek is kind of dirty because there's there's like a that's where there's garbage um, dump up above. So anyway, um, I did find. He says you'll find this uh, hornblende schist, calcopyrite in it, and possibly some bornite. Um, even though it's a very similar kind of outcropping from what's up at Miner Mineral Hill, um, it in, in uh, at Liberty um, Reservoir, it, it doesn't um, have much malachite or azurite, and he thinks that might be because there wasn't much oxidation because they 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 had to bring it up from deep in from a shaft the ore and uh, I really only found I only found uh, th uh, two pieces of um, rock that had calcopyrite and the rock that is there now is all dirty like you're, you can't see the a lot what is inside it like you, I mean not, not all rock is but um, and so you sort of at, start you start um, seeing which ones might have calcopyrite and you and you break them open and they're uh, pretty hard <laughs> And um, so I found the two, one was so big, I, my rock hammer just bounced off it. I couldn't get a piece off it. And then the other one, um, I think it was an actinolite, um, serpentine actinolite, not this hornblendschist um, stuff. Um, so anyway, that's not what it looks like now. Uh, and I did a video earlier about, this is what I found before. It's this hornblende stuff. Well, I call it hornblende. It, it, it seems just like hornblende. It's just that it's golden colored, which is really weird um, to me. I mean, I haven't found it. And it has these um, black crystals in it that are attracted to a magnet. So they could be magnetite or they could be chromite, um, both of which can be magnetic. But I did a video on this one before, and uh, this is interesting rock. So I'm keeping it. I've never found one like that. Um, this time in this, you'll find a lot of this type of rock laying around. It you can't you can't see the green, um, but there's just a lot of this fine grain green stuff. And in one of the cavities, there was a um, I, there was some I guess calcite crystals. Uh, nothing exciting, but it was. You know, kind of fun to find uh, that, but I just I'm just throwing that in there so you can see something else that you can look for if you go. And in the actinolite, I got I, I just pulled out a couple of the crystals, the black crystals. The one on the right is the best formed. I don't know if you can see, but it's got it's got three. It's like a triangle face. Each face is a triangle, and it makes like a pyramid. Um, I could. Let me see if it'll let me, um, no, yeah, let me just, oh, what am I doing here? Let's see if it'll let me zoom in on that guy. Uh, going closer, 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 but I'm losing my light, yeah, mm. well, anyway, yeah, mm, getting closer, yeah, so, anyway, that's the little guy, um, Yeah, so anyway, I'll just show you that they do um, attract to a magnet. So there's that one and there's that one. So they're either magnetite or chromite, depending on, I'd have to do some research. 
we have lots of chromite in the area here and chrome mines and everything so um i don't know and, and like i said so this also has those black crystals so i don't know what he's talking about um but it, apparently it was called the called a copper mine so um the bear hills copper mine so and that's what the main thing they were looking for and but i didn't find much copper and and i didn't find any malachite or azurite so and i did get, i did grab a couple pieces of um tail light that were in the parking lot um at the train station though that was kind of fun um yeah and uh this one of course shows just the standard um rectangular um quartz uh the cal uh crystal structure so okay so that's that one uh if you go you know just be careful to you know, take a hand sanitizer and and i had of course waterproof boots though yeah you might be able to jump from it's not very deep but it helps to have the boots um and uh then i look on the hills too like next to the creek look in the, in the hills too and you've got to look close and i would say wait until uh, I, until more of the leaves have been washed away some more heavy rains or something okay so that takes that's the bear hills copper mine